So on this video, I am reviewing The Mule. Uh, it's co-directed and written by Lee Wannell. You might remember his name from the Saw movies, well the first two with James Wan, and uh, Insidious 1 and 2. Um, the other person who stars in this movie is Angus Sampson. Uh, his name is not really well known yet, but when you watch the movie or if you look it up, you'll recognize him from being one of the Ghost Hunters opposite Lee Wannell in Insidious. Uh, that's really only his movie credit that's, you know, anything. Uh, the other big name actor in this is Hugo Weaving. And he kind of plays like a... Like when you watch The Departed, Mark Wahlberg's character is like this really dickish, asshole, douche cop. And Hugo Weaving is kind of the same thing. Uh, this movie's pinned as a comedy, but it's not really a comedy. It's more of a a tense su this, uh, suspense. I was gonna say suspension, but uh, it's got suspense in it because you have the main character who is forced to smuggle a kilo of heroin in his asshole, and uh, he can't go to the bathroom. And the cops are detaining him for 10 days, waiting for him to shit, and he's not doing it. And it's really gross and disgusting watching him force himself to be constipated. And uh, then you have the other suspense of the mob kingpin uh, boss trying to get Lee Wanell to kill Lee Sam or Angus Sampson. It's, it's a good entertaining movie. And the best part of this is it's a vehicle for Angus Sampson. He's a very awkward looking fellow, which automatically makes him an underdog. You know, when you have, I don't want to say he's ugly, I don't want to be mean, but his face is odd, and he's got these big lips and these eyes that always look like a pug, you know, that always look like real sad. But it makes you automatically feel bad for him and sympathize with him and cheer him on even though he's carrying a kilo of heroin in his butt. Um, I really I really wanted to watch this movie because I like Lee Wan L's everything. I mean, I really do. I like his writing style. He's one of the favorite parts of Hollywood that I like. You know, I'm not I'm not real keen on jumping on the bandwagon of anybody and liking every single thing they do, but Lee Wan L is one of them. Um, that that list is very small, but it's it's not a comedy. It's it's got aspects of humor that aren't really jokes. They're just like jabs that you might chuckle at. But the most most of the movie is waiting and suspense and like all this tension building up about this dude defecating and. Will the condoms in his stomach explode, and will he rage out in this heroin-induced coma thing, or like, will the police officers like fight each other? Is one of them corrupt? Is is Lee Wano gonna kill his brother? It's not really his brother, but best friends and stuff. Uh, is Hugo Weaving gonna like turn into a transforming elf and kill everybody, or is the big mob boss guy and his henchmen gonna do stuff? It's got that crime movie feel to it, but it's really weird because it's set in 1983 and it's got this this weird theme of Australian pride behind it. And we don't really see that many Australian crime movies, which is kind of cool. So this is a, a drug cartel movie with Bangkok roots in Australia with good supporting characters. Because Angus Sampson is the star in the movie. But um, I do have to say it's kind of hard to watch. There are some gross scenes in it. I won't give anything away. Well, I might as well because it's hard to word yourself around this. He shits out the condoms secretly and then through an excruciating... I don't know how long it took to shoot, but he eats the condoms again with the shit on them, it's really gross. Um, it's a great, it's a great movie. I mean, it really is. Um, I don't know if it's a true story, 
Uh, I might research that a little bit, but uh, there's definitely no trivia on. I always like to look up IMDb for different little trivia things about the staff and the grips and like how they did the movie in production and whatever, but there's nothing on this movie because it's a low-budget movie, as most Lee L stuff is. But um, I would recommend this movie, not to everybody, because not everybody will like this movie. If you like Australian accents and you like crime movies... And you like a good ending for the anti-hero, sort of, then this is the movie for you. Um, it's really all I can say about it. it. It was a good watch, but I wouldn't recommend it for like multiple viewings. It's, it's a one-time watch thing. And if I was going to give this a review rating, I would probably say... A six. Six out of ten. I usually don't do tens. I do fives. So a three out of five. What am I doing? Three out of five. It could definitely be better, but I don't think that's the thing they were going for. The way it was shot, there's a house, uh, the Bangkok area, the mob boss guy's house, and then uh, Lee's house, and then two hotel rooms. That's really it. That's the, the, the settings. And... It's hard to shoot a movie with very few scenes. Well, not scenes. Um, areas. i got to dismiss that. Okay. But um, they did it, and, you know, Lee Wan, I was already used to doing a movie in one room, you know, like Saw. So he can do those small areas. There's really nothing else I can say. So, um, yeah, The Mule. Lee Wan, Angus Sampson, Hugo Weaving.